zu Ende. It's difficult to think of an Australian Open final quite as dramatic as the 2013 Women's Championship decider between Victoria Azarenka and Lee Na. Azarenka was the defending champion and had made light work of almost all of her opponents, dropping just one set on the way to the final. 2011 runner-up Lee had kept a clean sheet on her run to the second Saturday, including straight sets wins over Agnieszka Radwanska and Maria Sharapova. The pair's last meeting at the WTA Championships in 2012 gave Azarenka the edge in a 5-4 head-to-head record, but the Rod Laver Arena crowd was evenly split between the fan favourites. We join the action in the first set with Azarenka looking for her first hold of serve at 3-2. Well, this is quite remarkable. Azarenka all at sea on her serve. Well, that's extraordinary. Who would have thought the defending champion would have come out and not been able to hold one serve? The set point goes begging. her best shot tonight. Might that be the catalyst for something? Advantage, Azarenka. six seed is going to have a second opportunity of closing out what has been a puzzling set in lots of ways. That's good positive stuff. She was out of the point on more than one occasion then and just refused to lay down. Set point again. That's three gone. Thank you. Thank you. 
And a double. Lena strikes the first blow. 6 4 in the first set. Back to back breaks for Azarenka saw her race to a three love lead in the second set. We rejoin the action with Lee having just retrieved one break to trail 3 1. Well, again, prepared to try the angles. Well, that is the play that's going to pay dividends for Lee Na. Azarenka still with only six winners for the match. Lee Na's had 17. Down goes Lena. Is she okay? She's not sure if she's okay. Left leg. Fingers crossed. Oh no. And look at those just, cameras. Yeah, everyone just holding their breath and hoping that she's okay, but she's not putting any weight on that left leg. This is not looking good. We'll need to have a look at the replay just to see how much of a turn of the ankle there was. Let's check it out. And it's one of those ones that clicks underneath you. Oh, that did not look good. No. There's a real snap <sighs> right there. And I think she knew she'd done something fairly dramatic. She was rolling to protect it. There it is. Lost a footing with the twist. She knows injuries all right because Lena, I say she's tough because she played for quite some time with a rib stress fracture back in 2007 and ended up ha having to have about six months off with that. And then again in 2008 had major problems with a right knee injury that needed surgery, had four months out with that as well. Husband Jian Chang just looks on, biting the fingernails and hoping, like the rest of us, that things are going to be okay. Only her re emergence back onto the court will answer that question. So everyone was on the edge of their seat with the way this final had progressed, and now there's another reason to be there. Time. We're at 30 all in the fifth game after Lena took the first set in 45 minutes. It's reassuring Sexy. seeing her jump up and down on that left foot. Well, you'd have to say the signs are encouraging. It's only the first point, but there looked to be no restriction of movement. And she wasn't tentative about it either. Well, the danger for Azarenka is what you alluded to, Pete, the wounded opponent, because she will go to try and finish these points off even quicker than she was. And we'll think that it's a bonus that she's still out here on court after that incident. Also, we'll play through pain. What rolled ankle? She's come out as though she is brand new. And she holds and gets back to within one game of Azarenka. Now she's in danger of handing back the two breaks that she established in the first and third games of this set. That's brilliant. Oh, what a response there from Azarenka. It's one of her best shots in the match to date. That time the net cord, not Lee Nas' friend. Oh. 
Oh, desperate defence there from Azarenka, paying off. A bad miss from Lina on a huge point here. No advantage. This would be a massive hold if Azarenka is able to manufacture it here. Down love 40. That is huge. What a hold from the defending champion. Despite having rolled her ankle, Lee managed to hold sway with the defending champion, but the deciding set was interrupted by Australia Day fireworks, adding further drama to the contest. We rejoin the action with Azarenka serving at 2-1 on serve. No, what has happened? For the second time, her face contorted with agony. I think she hit her head. Heard a very loud noise. I think she smacked her head on the court when she went down. She looks a little dazed. She also... <laughs> <laughs> oh. She can also see the funny side of it. <laughs> because everyone in the stadium is looking at the pictures you're looking at on the big screen. I don't think they'll be able to believe what's happened out here. First the ankle. And now this. Oh. And what about the head? Oh, yes. So that was a double whammy. Ankle first. Oh. And then the whiplash of the fall. Well, I mean, I'm sure the ankle will be concerned, but it's her head that they are worried about. And this is one thing that the medical people will be very conscious about. Ankles can mend, but when there is any suggestion perhaps of a, a concussion, with a head hit like that, they are ultra cautious. Of course, the only way they can be guided is by the player themselves. Let's not forget that Victoria Azarenka has been through something like this at the US Open a couple of years ago. She got concussed before the match and collapsed on the court and hit her head. Had to withdraw from that match. There goes the ankle. Down she goes. Smacking her head on the court as well. And that's what is of such great concern. I don't think she can believe that this has happened. She been under strict orders, though, that if she starts to feel a bit strange out there, she's to stop. She's the crowd favourite, and she knows it. They've been on her side from the moment that she walked out on court. But even the support of 15,000 people is not going to do you any good if you haven't got your balance. The fourth game of the deciding set resumes. That is tremendous depth. Just caught the back of the line and skipped on Azarenka a bit. 30-15. Terrific strategy, hitting it straight back at the server. Don't have time to get out of the way after recovering from the service motion. And 
there's that depth again. How many times do you want to hit the baseline? 13. Oh! This is incredible. One minute she's lying flat on the court after having 30. smacked her head and turned her ankle. And then she's smashing the winners. That's courage to go for your shots under that circumstance. That one, she got 119 kilometres an hour. Probably had too much time to think about it before it got there. Zarenka sees off a break point again. Pretty sure it was wide. Two break points for Azarenka to take the reins again. Did get the back of the line, so that was the reason the ball skipped. Now, Azarenka's going to argue here. We can understand why she's presenting a case. Well, Alison Lang saying that Lena had a play on the ball when the call came and it may have distracted her through the swing, which is valid. After all of that. Still two break points. Yeah. Is she starting to get the upper hand at last? Azarenka, it's Azarenka 3-2, final set. Lee fought on bravely despite her multiple ailments. We rejoin the action in the deciding set with the Chinese woman trailing Azarenka by a break of serve at 4-3. That is not letting her opponent see what she's thinking and feeling out here. That one at 138 clicks. Quicker than the serve. I think that's standing her in good stead out here. That new Love temperament it. she seems to have acquired. Well, that was there for the hitting. 15, oh, she missed an opportunity there. Ah! That's what Azarenka does so well, swinging the ground strokes from side to side. Well, the crowd oohed and aahed, but it was a smart shot. She took the pace off it and forced Azarenka 
just to generate her own speed. There's that impetuous nature again. That's the way she rolls, though. She tries to end the point as quickly as possible. That's too good. The sweeping groundies of Azarenka finding their mark. Advantage, Azarenka. been a tough ride for Lena today. Ankle twists, smashing her head and having to be brave with her shot making. The only thing that's not been broken is her spirit. Love 15. She keeps striking back, adding to the winner tally. It's been a great shot for her tonight. Oh. Well, as Arika said, if you're good enough, hit it past me. Was she good enough? The number one seed finds herself two points away from the championship in a dramatic final for all sorts of reasons. Azarenka did a very good job there. Off balance, she recovered so well. And so now, after two hours and 39 minutes of the most amazing theatre, which at times hasn't reached any great heights, but it's been full of intrigue and drama, just as any great sporting event should be at this level. Championship point. Zarenka has gone back to back in Melbourne. Finally, Lee Nars broken body gives away. And Azarenka adds the championship of 2013 to her victory of 12 months ago.